Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Live. This is a play review here of TGT. This is Target. I did this gap this morning, took a, took a stop in it. Uh, I decided to redo it here in the afternoon. So far, it's playing out. I don't have the same targets here, though, for this afternoon as I did this morning. And I did take a stop in this today. But I liked this gap this morning. And after I closed out the trading room, I thought, gosh, you know, I went back and reviewed what I was seeing in this overall chart here that made me have the conviction to, to like this today, this morning, even though it didn't play out. And I still saw it, and I still saw it was valid. So I decided to do an afternoon trade here, which I am currently in. And I just have different targets for this now. We'll see if this gets down here and breaks the low of the day. 58.25 is the first number here for me now. Actually, 58.45, 58.25, 58, and then the other targets I had originally on the on the day. Dream target for this, we got two and a half hours left in the day, would be like 57.60-ish. That's a buck from here. And from where I'm in it, that would be amazing. Uh, and I did do a really tight stop in this just because of the fact that it didn't work in the morning. So actually, let's go through the morning play first, which, which didn't work. Going, going, going. Okay. Actually, I was up on this first play. Just didn't didn't get out with anything. Stock rally took it, dropped, dropped, bounced off of 58. It was up. I was up in this almost 50 cents. Didn't didn't take any off. Told some people that could take some off. Saw it. Didn't want to take any off. Thought it could fall. Thought it ha could have a move. Liked it. Liked the gap. And didn't want to get out for that. I I'm probably the only person that ever does things like this where I would be up. You know, it's kind of money and then knock it out of anything. <laughs> but, you know, I'm looking for momentum. I'm really not a scalper. And there's got to be reasons for me to go into stuff and out of stuff. And I'm looking for targets. And I didn't have 58 as a target today. But it ended up being where it opened and where it bounced. I mean, this is where it's at now today. And I'm playing it through. This is working now here, though. Yay! All right. So, rally back. Loved it. Looked good. Dropped down. Couldn't break a new low. Rallying all the way up. Boom. Got stopped out. And it is what it is. So that was the situation. Here's where it didn't look good at this point. Then for the morning, it was 10, 15, went over the high. Now, I, I just, you know, I like the gap. That gap rated really good per my system. And I looked at the daily chart and I liked the gap. And I saw the congestion this morning, the way it was working through it. But after I watched this rally all the way up here and went back and was analyzing it, after I closed out the room, I see what it did. I see exactly where this rallied. Stock rallied all the way up here, held this level of resistance. Do you see this here? I don't think this is getting over this today. So this has two choices here now. Flatline the rest of the day or fall. This is way beyond any maximum level of resistance I set for the stock. And I'm really good at finding levels of resistance that the stock should hold in the gaps in the morning and then to have the follow through. I didn't have this number written down anywhere today, though. It's an ugly number, quite frankly, to short the stock into. A crappy, ugly number because the setup that would happen in this to take the first setup in this is so, so late for it to rally in here. And I like to do morning plays. And usually gaps do work immediately in the morning into the open. But I'm doing an afternoon play here now because I still like the gap. And every once in a while, you can do an afternoon play. It's not ideal, but, you know, I just didn't want to give up on this thing. I liked it. I did not want to give up on it. So I'm back in this. And we'll, we'll just see where it goes. I mean, I'm up here now and I'm just going to play it on through. This you could have taken. I did not do it. It would have been aggressive to do it here after the rally, and the, I just wasn't doing it. But then as I was analyzing this whole configuration, and the daily chart pretty much is where I get lots of my information from the daily chart, I was thinking, gosh, this is still good. So I ended up deciding to do this here, right in here on this break into the 15-minute, and I put a very, 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 very tight stop Back again here, and this time I put it over 59.05. I didn't even want to give it any room at all, and I and I took it, and it immediately broke and dropped in here, and I thought, okay, good. And then the 60 minute triggered here under 75. So this is fine. This is getting some follow through here. Jeez. <laughs> wow, I'll be thrilled if this goes down to 58 today near the low of the day from where I took this. Well, let's just play it out here. I'm really going to have to watch it in here, though. So if I get any bounce in here, I'm going to have to get out of half. Otherwise, I'm going to play it on through to, to basically into the close of the business today because it's 
or three o'clock major reversal time. Three o'clock major reversal time or you know, into three thirty, into the close, pretty much, which I I so rarely take anything this late in the afternoon, but I like the gap. I like the gap and I thought to myself, this is bizarre world that this isn't working. But the stock had a big lift over the high there after it opened and dropped and fell and pushed it back. But I know who's in control of this chart. It's the bears. And I know who's in control of this whole thing. And for the morning, it seemed that, you know, the stock was almost getting bought off of 58. But I thought that doesn't make any sense because I know who's controlling this stock. So the gap just didn't work out in the morning. Playing through here now into the afternoon, we'll see where it goes. It's, this does not happen that often. The gaps usually work very quickly in the morning, and you're in, and you're up, and you're done. But for this thing today, it didn't work right this morning with the follow-through, although it did have a two-hour trade in it. I just didn't get out of it with profit before it flipped. Flipped on over, and now I'm back in this thing. So we'll see where it goes. Maybe I'll even be able to get a buck out of this. Boy, that would be really, I'd be very happy with that here in an, for an afternoon play. To get a dollar out of something in the afternoon is beautiful is amazing so we'll have to see i'm going to be on this like crazily here this afternoon but this was a nice gap so i had the conviction i stuck with it conviction is everything it makes a difference whether you like something whether you don't like something we stay with it whether you don't stay with it you know it really really makes a big difference and you got to give yourself a couple trades every day i typically uh try to do only one stock and one trade per day but every once in a while you have to take uh, you know, more than one trade in a stock. So I'm back in this target. We'll see where it goes. I'm really going to be watching it like a hawk here in this afternoon period. And you have to watch stuff very carefully in the afternoon. Anyways, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. This is Target. StockSwish show play of the day today, one of three. Uh, and uh, if you're interested in learning how to trade gaps and rate gaps and find the targets and find the setups, and take the trades. The gap class is this weekend, August 9th and 10th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Hope everybody has a fantastic day. And we'll see what we get tomorrow. Some goodies out tonight. I'm going to be watching. Obviously, now I'm sitting here. It's a beautiful day, and I'm sitting at my desk. <laughs> beautiful day, and I'm sitting at my desk. But this is life. I'm making money. So got to do what you've got to do some days. All right, everybody. Have a great day.